Hey guys, I have the Musu Hard Floor Stick Vacuum. I've been using it for about a month now, and this thing has been way better than sweeping, because as you know, when you sweep, it actually throws some of the dust back up. With this high suction vacuum, it's been capturing all of that dust and stuff, not letting it release back into the air. This is for hard floors only. It's not recommended for carpet. It does have a cord, heavy duty cord, 23 feet long. So it's going to come with the vacuum, an extra filter as well as one filter in there, and the wall mount, and your two-in-one tool. It's a two-in-one crevice and brush tool with the brush down. It's your crevice tool. Push it up. It's your brush. There's a button on the back. Push it down and pull, and it's back to your crevice tool. So that's nice and handy, only one to keep track of. It does come with a little brush in here to brush off your filter to keep it clean, as well as a little hair ripper for the end of your floor head to go around the roll uh, part of it. Run it down, it breaks the hair, and you can pull it off much easier. So you can use this mainly short, medium, and long length. I'm going to take this off and show you the short length first. Basically just like a little handheld tool, it's very lightweight, so it's easy for pretty much anyone to use. Um, put your tool on here and it's great for in the car, small spills, in the couch cushions. Take that out. Take your next section. Now you have kind of about a medium length. Put your tool back on here for maybe um, cobwebs in the corners. I use the brush part for the ceiling vents or uh, baseboards as well. That eliminates the step stool. I used to get out with my clunky shop vac to get all the ceiling vents. Now this is so lightweight. Just reach up there with the brush tool. It works like a charm. And then put the next piece on. And the tool. This length can be really, really handy for between two areas. Like I have a desk and a file cabinet with only about three inches between it. And this is only about maybe an inch and a half wide. So you can get way back in there to the wall, down on the floor where it gets all dusty and cobwebby, which you'd never clean because those items are too heavy to move. Or another one is between the fridge and the wall or the fridge and the cabinet. That's another good one to get back in there. And then without the tool, of course, this is just how you would uh, vacuum the floor. So I'm going to take this off for a second. And this is flexible, so you can twist, turn, and it up and down which makes it great for getting in and around the table legs and chairs. And it's not real tall, so it can fit under most furniture items. But between the swivel and the small floor head, you can get in almost any. My house is so much cleaner because you can get into more places. This lays pretty flat. Not all the way flat, but you can get pretty far under the bed and dressers with how far this goes down. It does have excellent suction power. It's amazing, really. It's picked up rocks and candy. They say it'll even pick up a cell phone, so I did that. There'll be pictures at the end to show you. And there's very few buttons. You just have your on off at the top. And your dust cup release button is right here. Just push that down over the garbage. Everything falls out. You're good to go again. Between pets and junk, if you do get a buildup in here, it might uh, lose some of the suction, just pull that out. That's just another area to clean out periodically every once in a while. This does have a two-piece HEPA filter which will capture 99.99% of dust, pollen, and allergens, which like I said earlier, when you sweep, it throws those back up. This is going to capture them. And to change the filter, just go in like you're going to dump. And just twist this blue part off. and your filter is in there. Pop that out, pop the new filter on, and you're good to go again. So it's all pretty easy, 
very lightweight, excellent suction, awesome little vacuum. Thanks for watching.